we blast off into our Game of the Week with a series that's been around for 10 years. However, unlike the title's last incarnation as a real-time strategy game, this edition has been returned to its wacky roots. It also comes with one big improvement, a three-dimensional environment. So get ready to burrow into Worms 4, causing mayhem on the PC, Xbox, and PS2. For the first time in the series, you have the ability to customize your worms, choosing their hair, glasses, and even dying words, complete with their trademark humor. More importantly, you can also modify your weapons. So now you not only have shotguns, bazookas, and cluster grenades, you can also control a flying sheep that can be detonated with a touch of a button. Bah! Talk about a woolly bomb. The turn-based action takes place over 25 single missions where your team of worms will face off against opposing squads in a designated area. The idea is to use all the weapons and gadgets at your disposal to annihilate the enemy. Strategy plays a big part in your success, so try to be in the right position with the right weapon. That means you'll definitely need to learn how each weapon functions in battle. Additionally, you'll spend a good deal of time navigating your worms through the various obstacles on each map. Here you can utilize manhole covers and even jet packs. However, it's important to note that since the worms move quite slowly, the pace isn't especially speedy. Fortunately, the controls are sharp and the graphics are presented in a cartoonish style that helps emphasize the comic elements. Along with the main story mode, there are multiple four players on up to 20 maps. The action is fun, but due to the turn-based gameplay, there's also a huge amount of waiting around. Overall, though, Worms 4 delivers a fiendishly good time. Newcomers, as well as true fans of the series, will find plenty to get excited about, which is why it's our Game of the Week.